2012 air conditioning Mini Cooper S model. So on this 2012, you can see, let's see if we're going to focus. So 2012, the refrigerant charge quantity, 460 grams. Just started it up about, let's see, we're at the third minute. You can see right here when I started it. This is flat line. This is when the refrigerant pressure was at rest, the high side and the low side, represented by the blue and the red line. At the instant that I started it up and the compressor engaged, you can see where the high side went up and the low side went down. And then the low side starts settling off and the high side is controlled by the fan. And we went all the way up to, what do we go? 200 PSI and at 200 PSI started ramping up the fan and adjusting the compressor. And it'll probably repeat that pattern all over again. As for temperature, where are we at? Right now we're only coming out at 46 degrees Fahrenheit out of the dash. We're tracking right here, 45, 46, 46. 46. Focus. Focus. There you go. Right there. And that is the 2012 Mini Cooper. Brand new condenser was in an accident, got hit a little bit. It didn't puncture it, so I did the recovery last week. This was just thrown on about 20 30 minutes ago uh that's it simple in and out really fast discharge recharge really fast swap the condenser really fast that was uh about as easy as they get let's just see right here for a super heat and sub cooling oh let's see the temperatures let's see what our uh discharge of our compressor temperature is in our section. So right now, our liquid line is 75 degrees. Our ambient air temperature, let's get this out here, because that's our thermistor right there. Our ambient air temperature looks to be about 60, gonna be 65 degrees once that drops. 65 degrees. 72 degrees, this small line right here, this is 72 degrees. This is coming from the compressor feeding in. Let's see what our discharge temperature is, about 105 or so. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can get that on there. So now that's the temperature of our discharge out of the compressor. 115, 16s, still going up. 120. Yeah, I hear that I can hear the fan kick in and as the fan kicks in it lowers the temperature and the pressure of the condenser so it went up to 125 and at 125 PS uh, 125 degrees that was probably 200 PSI on here let's look at that yeah that's what we're at so when we hit 125 degrees we were at roughly 200 and 201 PSI so around 201 202 and we got up to 125 degrees on the discharge line coming out of the condenser and that's being controlled the reason it's going up and down in temperature is because the fan is going up and down in how much CFM of air it's bringing across the condenser so let's go back to the liquid line and look at the liquid line How did I do that before? There we go. On there, right there. So that's the liquid line. So let's take a look at the liquid line. You can see the temperature going down. And actually we could graph that out and take a look at it. You'll be able to see if I go over to line temperature. See right there where it says line temperature? You'll see where I connected and disconnected it. Okay, right now, the fan is ramping up. So it's drawing more cold air. 
So we'll see the temperature of the line come down. 87. Let's see if I can get it focus in for you guys. There you go. You can hear the fan if you can hear it in the background. The fan is on high speed. And you can see the high side temperature constantly dropping on the liquid line. And that will correlate with the pressure. Oh, the fan just turned off. So now this is going to start going up. We went down to 76 Fahrenheit. A little bit more. Still dropping. 75. And the fan is still blowing, but it's really slow. Let's see if I could see it in there. God damn it, I can't see it. Actually, it looked like it almost stays still. So the fan has actually stopped. Oh yeah, I stuck my finger in there. I risked the tip of my fingers. Now, the high side temperature is staying down. Let's go back to the pressure. You can see the pressure is going up. But you ask why, how can the liquid line stay at the same temperature, but the fan is off? The pressure is obviously raising, but the liquid line is not showing it. There goes the fan, the fan just went again. Let's go back to temperature, line temperature. Went up just a little bit. It went up from 73 to 83. And our superheat and subcooling. Because you cannot take a superheat or subcooling with a condenser fan that is constantly rising and constantly falling all the time, you never get a steady point. So you cannot use superheat and subcooling on a vehicle that is in operation mode of constantly up and down. It has to be steady state. And this is why somehow in the automotive industry, especially when these heat pumps come around, every vehicle from the manufacturer through their software must have a test mode and they must release more information to us for doing proper diagnostics. But they think that mechanics are idiots, they don't need to know all that information, um, unfortunately. The information is out there, they just have to publish it. All right guys, I'll see you later. Field piece vacuum pump, field piece Bluetooth wireless scale, field piece SM480V, four port manifold with sight glass, with the silicone high vacuum hose and the field piece, humidity and temperature sensors. And yes, I have it on a very hot um, turbo. See you guys later. Field piece is the way to go. Oh, if you want to know the part number on this, every automotive shop who does air conditioning should have one of these. Actually, they should have two of them.